Now that you've heard an overview of QSLA, let's move on to the quality improvement supports and incentive that your program will receive. First, a technical assistant or TA will support you with preparing for the assessment and rating process. QSLA assessments are based on tools found in the Quality Counts Rating Matrix. Your TA will help to prepare you to meet and demonstrate evidence of these expectations. After the assessment and rating process, they will help explain your overall rating and the scores that you receive in your QSLA tier rating report. After receiving your overall tier rating, your site will have access to a program coach. The program coach will work with your lead teachers to co-create and implement individualized quality improvement plans, also known as QIPs, for their classrooms. Program coaches will visit your site each month to help teachers reach these QIP goals. Coaching may include support in classroom practices and other early childhood education topics. In addition to coaching support, your site is eligible for financial incentives based on your tier rating. These incentives are intended to help support the cost of improving program quality if you are rated a tier one or two, and to sustain program quality if your rating is a tier three, four, or five. If you are newly enrolled to QSLA and this is your first time participating, you will also receive a one-time participation incentive, which includes a welcome kit and a financial stipend. Your TA will deliver welcome kits for the site director and lead teachers complete with QSLA branded swag and outreach materials to help communicate your participation in QSLA to staff and parents. The participation stipend that you will receive can be used to purchase materials for your classrooms or professional development opportunities for you and your staff so that you can begin enhancing your program quality. Thereafter, your site will receive either a quality improvement grant or a quality achievement award annually based on your current tier rating. Your site can expend the grant or award on learning materials, furnishings, gross motor equipment, minor renovations, technology, professional development, student wellness, and family engagement. QSLA provides access to a wide range of professional development training topics for your teachers, administrators, and families to help improve all aspects of program quality that lead to positive outcomes for children. In addition to in-person trainings, sessions are also available via webinar to meet the diverse needs of QSLA sites. You can also access the training calendar on the California Early Care and Education Workforce Registry website. While on the registry website, be sure to create a profile so that you may search the directory of instructional resources to find additional professional development that meets your needs. The families served by your program are also supported by QSLA. Family education trainings and community events are held throughout different regions of the county. QSLA connects parents across Los Angeles County to one another and to relevant community resources that promote resilience and stronger parent and caregiver relationships with their children. Encourage families you serve to like our Quality Start Los Angeles Facebook page or subscribe to our family education mailing list at the QSLA website to stay informed of upcoming events. By doing so, Families will receive the latest parenting resources, ideas for fun activities, and much more to help their child's learning and development. Another valuable resource that is available to you are two workforce development stipend programs. You may be eligible to earn cash for going to school. One program is for state-funded early learning programs, such as state preschools, and is called Investing in Early Educators Program, or AB212. The other opportunity, the QSLA Stipend Program, 
is for non-state funded providers such as private or nonprofit programs. If you are interested in applying for one of these stipends, please speak to your TA or go to the QSLA website to learn more details about the application process and eligibility requirements.